everybody, welcome back to Jermina's Promo. And today I'm gonna to show you guys a Samsung application that allows you to fully customize your S Pen experience on the Galaxy Note 20 and the Note 20 Ultra. You're able to change that little cursor or arrow when you hover your S Pen over the screen. You're also able to change the way that your air command works and as well as change the sounds of your S Pen when you detach it and also insert it. Now the application that we're talking about today is one that is made by Samsung and it's called Pentastic. So you can find Pentastic in two different areas. The first one is inside of GoodLock. Now GoodLock is one of those Samsung applications that is region locked. I don't really know why, but if you are able to access GoodLock, just go inside of the family tab on the bottom right hand side and Pentastic is sitting right there. Now the other area that you're able to get this one downloaded will be inside of the Galaxy App Store. Now, once you go inside of the application, go to the very top and you can search for Pentastic and you're gonna see it sitting right here. Now, once you have it downloaded and installed, you're able to open it up and it's actually a very simple menu. There's only one, two, three, four categories to change the entire way that your S Pen experience is on your Galaxy Note 20 and the Note 20 Ultra. If this is not available yet on the Galaxy Note 10 Plus, I'm really hoping it's getting there. I think it's one of those things that should work with Galaxy uh, One UI 2.5, but if you already have One UI 2.5 on your Galaxy Note 10 Plus and you don't see it, hopefully this is something that will be added in. Now, one thing that is super important will be inside of the sound category. So there is a few tips and tricks I need to share with you. A lot of people don't know how to do this so make sure you watch uh, definitely this category here coming up so first off this one is very basic how do you want your air command to look so this one is the default so if you wanted to go and use it every single time that you open up your air command which is the way that it shows on default you're able to have it look this way you can switch it over into compact so if you want it to kind of look like this which actually does look pretty good it looks uh, very simple and easy uh, the other way you can have it look is going to be by lines so it looks like it's going to be the way that this one is set up over here but just with a little bit of lines right there you can go with those old styled ways of the air command so you got circle and then the even older retro one so if you wanted your smart select to look like this uh, then you're able to have it look like this so we're going to open it up and there we go now you're not going to have that many that you can choose from and you can't really scroll a lot there's a lot of things that the newer uis are able to do so so if you wanted one that is circle, but one that you're able to interact with just a little bit better like this, uh, then you might want to go for this circle option. So when it comes down to this circle option here, the cool thing is that wherever I kind of put my S Pen, it's going to move it on the screen for me. So it's not always going to be in one spot. So this is the first one you're able to customize will be air command. Now the second one is going to be your pointer. So when you take a look at this pointer, you can see it's just a small little dot right there. Uh, let's say that you wanted to switch it. Anytime you go to any of these other options, you are able to change the size. So let's say you wanted this little arrow looking one and you want it to be pretty large. So now when you put your S Pen over the screen, you can see that it is right there. You can also go to heart. So if you want this one to be larger, uh, just so you guys can see a little bit better, you can see that little heart right there. And then the other options you have is a few other faces. Uh, and so you got like a crocodile looking one, you got Lisa, uh, you got a bunch of these. And then you can go inside of custom. And then once you go inside of custom, this is where you can select your image. Now, how I got this one made to be a circle was I simply went inside of my gallery. I have this original image right here uh, that is a square image. Now, what I did was I went inside of the gallery and I went into edit. Now inside of edit, you have that little lasso tool. The lasso tool was able to make it this little circle. And then I can make it larger, <laughs> but it probably won't be as accurate. So I'm gonna go to that very small icon there. And so now you can see that I have my small little, uh, you know, custom branding right here on the Galaxy Note 20. Oh yeah, and if you guys are brand new here at the channel of Jimmy is Promo and you appreciate these videos, these tips, tricks, tutorials, make sure you guys hit on that subscribe button as well as the bell for notifications so you get notified for all future videos. Now this next category is sound. Now this is the one that's super very important, especially if you wanted to go with one that is a custom sound. I'm gonna show you how I have mine set up with really finding any notification sound and then putting it in the correct folder. So first off, if you do wanna go through and listen to what some of these sounds um, sound like, you do need to go inside of your volume rocker. 
hit on that down arrow and make sure that your system is up. This is really ran off of system sound. And so if you do want it to be a little bit louder, you're able to tap this. You can take a listen to it. Here's heart. You also have this one here. Now they're not really that loud, probably coming through the mic here, but you are able to test the sound before you actually use it. Now, when it comes down to custom, uh, you can see that it's pretty loud there. So you have the remove sound and you also have the insert sound. So once you go to the remove sound, you tap on it and then you choose which sound you would like to use. Now this is only showing those sounds that are inside of notifications. So how was I able to get some of these other sounds? Now there's an application that I don't use uh, that often. It's gonna be Zedge. Now Zedge is one of those applications that you do not want to uh, set up your sounds, notifications, ringtones, wallpapers. You do not wanna set up any of these through the app. The reason why is because if this app is not updated, but your cell phone gets a software update, then there, it's gonna cause a lot of issues. So the first thing that I always do is I'll go inside of like notification sounds. I'm gonna go to search and the one that I'm using here is Mario. Uh, so inside of Mario, then you wanna just go underneath notifications. And then inside of here, you just wanna find one that you like. So this one is the one up. So er earlier in my last screen, you did not see one up as an option. So I'm gonna choose this one here, but you're not going to set anything. So what you wanna do is go to the very top, you go to download, and then you just hit on close. Now this is where the tricky part is. It's finding it and then moving it. So the thing that you're gonna to wanna to do is go inside of your Samsung folder, go inside of my sounds, and then underneath my sounds, you're gonna go inside of internal storage, then inside of internal storage, go to Android. Uh, yours might be down over here somewhere. It just happens to be that I frequently used it, so they put it on top. So you go to Android, then you go inside of data. Then this is gonna show you all the applications on your phone and if any of them brought anything to the table. So you're gonna go all the way down to the very bottom. Now, as you go down to the very, very, very bottom, the reason why we're going down there is because that is where the Zedge app is located. Now, once you open up the Zedge app, you go inside of files, then inside of here, we're gonna go inside of Zedge. And then this very last one is notification sounds. So this is where we got that pipe sound. We also got the power up sound. And here is that brand new one up sound. So I'm gonna grab this blue icon. Then I'm going to copy this or you can fully move it. I'm just basically gonna copy it. We're gonna go all the way back to the very first screen that we saw from before. Now this is that internal storage. This is where we're sitting at. You're going to scroll this one down to where you see notifications. Now my notifications is on the very bottom. So you open up notifications. You can see this is where those other two are located. I'm going to copy it right there. So that is the brand new uh, sound. Now we're going to go right back inside of the application. So this is where you go back into Pentastic. This is where you can go to, let's say the remove sound. Now you're going to have that one up option. Now, once you choose that one, you can hit on done. And so now that's gonna be what happens when you remove the sound. Now for me, uh, this one's taking the pipe over here. Uh, over here, I'm gonna do the power up. This is the one that I want to you know, specifically do. And that is really it for the sound. So really it's super simple to go through, choose the one you wanna use. Then you head over into your pointer. You're able to choose what size you want it to be. And then you're able to hit on use. Move right on down to the sound. This is where the complicated one is if you want to use a custom sound. Now, all these other ones are very simple. You just basically tap it and then you just hit on use. Now, the very last category that we have here is what happens when you do a press and hold and then you double tap the screen. So I set mine up to where it'll open up YouTube. By default, the application uh, in, the, in your phone is set up to open up a quick note. So this little create note right here, this is what will actually happen right now if you have the Galaxy Note 20 or Note 20 Ultra, you press and hold, give it a double tap, it'll open up this uh, creating of a note, you're able to take a note. If you're not much of a note taker, you're able to use any application. You can open up uh, Snapchat, you can open up Instagram, you can really open up anything that you want. I'm gonna use YouTube as that's one of the applications I use all the time. So as I end this video here, the only thing I do wanna mention is that when you are trying to use different sounds, just I want to reiterate the fact that if you are using Zedge to get your sounds, don't set any wallpapers, ringtones, notifications through the app itself, because at some point when your phone gets an update, you will actually have issues. You'll never remember 
error that was actually caused by Zedge. So it's easier just to save it to the phone itself every single time. But I hope you guys have liked this video. If you guys did, please give this thing a huge thumbs up. Don't forget to hit on subscribe. Subscribe right over here in the very bottom left hand side. And if you like this video, then more than likely you'll also like this video. And I'll see you guys later.